Hey guys, Ignatius here. Uh, I know I'm super late with this video. Um, <laughs> it's been about a week since BlizzCon. And, um, you know, I, I, I've been meaning to put more content out. I just, you know, kind of being a holy paladin, that's you just heal and there's not much to do in classic. Um, so I kind of want to do these for um, each phase, you know, put stuff out like what I plan on doing, what my thoughts are on stupid, on not stupid, but on, on stuff like this, um, you know, so, and my, my future plans, like I did with the uh, phase six stuff, what the stuff that I farmed. Um, so before we, we jump into this, uh, I will say that, uh, I have been playing a ton of retail recently, uh, with my paladin pretty much farmed up all the, the mats for Nax that he's going to need because paladin healing is just very mana non in intrusive or intensive so like the few i still have over 300 dream foil on my account like we we didn't burn through many as many pots as i thought we were going to so um i, I really hadn't have had nothing to do in classic so i've jumped into retail but now with the announcement of burning crusade which we all knew was going to come uh, i have really stopped playing retail uh, i've been really ramping up stuff for um the paladin um and at the end of this i'll tell you what i'm planning on doing with paladin and uh with my guild and we'll we'll go we'll go from there so let's just jump right into it so the first thing is we don't know the release date it's 2021 soon whatever uh you can sign up for the beta now i've i've done that you can opt in um and they'll send you hopefully i get i get that because i'm very interested to uh jump in on it and play around with it because you know um th there are some big change there's some changes at least for for me that you know, hopping onto a private server will like be helpful, but not like entirely helpful. Um, so another thing is the patch 2.4.3. Uh, I really don't have any strong opinions. I think it's fine that they picked the end patch and their reasoning behind it, I think is fine as well. Um, I can see why people would want, you know, um, progressive patching. Uh, I, I have no strong opinion one way or the other. The, the patch doesn't really concern me. I just kind of want to play the game. Um, the phasing, I, I really love the phasing. Uh, that's very similar to what they did in uh, classic vanilla. Uh, there's already one change on this. They've uh, already low key and said, uh, they've already implied that they're going to change season one arena to be this patch right here. Then phase one, uh, because that, that gears on par with Karazhan. Uh, I'm very excited to do this. I remember raiding Karazhan a bunch in, in TBC originally. It was a ton of fun. I haven't really raided. Uh, like, like in classic, I only really rated a few of these things and then the rest is all going to be new to me, but I have run around in retail on these and they're a ton of fun. Um, they're just RP wise. Uh, and I love the lore. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's really, it's really going to be fun. I'm really excited to, to do this and I love that. It's just not going to come all out so we can just blaze right through it. Right. Um, this, the choose your choice. I think this is a good idea because uh, it sets it up so that they, in the future, they can make fresh servers and that they can be very um, specific on what that server is going to be. I uh, I don't think they did that at first because I think they thought classic really wouldn't take off. That everyone would play classic for a few months and realize that it's not retail and there's so many like quality of life stuff that retail has uh, that classic did not. And that they'd all go to retail, and uh, boy, were they were they proven wrong? Um, don't get me wrong, I like retail. There's a bunch of good quality of life stuff that I wish would become over into uh, classic, but oops, uh, I shouldn't be doing this right now. Um, they sh that I wish they could bring into the classic, but you know, uh, one can only hope for or wish for certain things. Um, with that being said. Like I said before, I think it's a great way to to come out with progressive servers, to come out with more classic servers, to come out with more just specific type of things, right? Um, so I don't, I don't, I like this. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make a classic copy. You never know, I might change my mind. But um, essentially, it's you're gonna you're gonna log in, you're gonna have that choice to go to to stay in classic or go to Burning Crusade um, and dealer's choice and that server that's going to classic will remain classic here until they decide to shut down uh, this, the classic servers 
So I, I don't think that's a bad thing. The people that want to keep playing classic can play it. Uh, I do think they need to come out with some fresh servers. Um, I, I am I, personally me, I, I care not about fresh servers. I don't want to redo this again. I've, I, I love playing classic. I just, I, I need another, you know, 15 years probably to want to go level up from nothing again. Um, but like, I, I understand the appeal of fresh servers. So I think they do need to come out with fresh serve TBC servers. And I think they need to do come out with fresh classic servers. Um, I don't know if they will, but you know, we'll see from there. Um, we'll see what they do either way. I like this choice, uh, because it doesn't force the people that don't want to go into TBC to, to, to go into TBC. Um, but it does say, Hey, the person that wants to play both, you're going to have to pay a fee for, for that, which, you know, is, is a money grab. They could probably not charge you, but Blizzard has shareholders and they have to answer they, the point of shareholder of a uh, company is to make money for their shareholders for the most part. Um, Drunai and blood elves during pre-patch. That's huge. Uh, I know that wasn't a thing back in the day, uh, but this, this like that's, that's huge. I've already talked to, um, I have a, a guildie that's going to be going, uh, from a priest to a ret resto shaman that, and he wants to PVP, uh, with me in arenas. So we'll have a good twos and he wants, so I, I've already offered to, to boost him on my, uh, my, um, on my paladin because, you know, in stockades, at least I can, I can do boosts and stockades and okay boosts in, in, in SM, but I have a feeling that a lot of my guildies I'm going to be doing that for, which I have absolutely no problem with. It's going to be fun. I, I think this is a great, great idea. Um, I, I, I think it's good. Uh, level 58 boost. This is apparently very controversial. Um, I personally like it. Uh, I, I know everyone plays the game for different reasons. Personally, leveling is not why I play the game. I like to I like to dungeon with friends. I like to raid. I like to do the end game comment. I loved dungeons while leveling up. I think they're all great. And if I could just dungeon while leveling up with my friends, I would probably be against boosts as well. I don't think this is that bad of an idea. I think it's a money grab. Yes, obviously. Um, but um, it is what it is. Uh, I, I like it. I think it's good. I think how they're handling it is good. Um, I understand that it can, other people think, well, it'll lead to botting problems. The bots are already here. Like they're, this is just going to take off three or four days. Uh, I get that that's controversial and you might think I'm wrong with that. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think it's a good thing because I even have friends that play retail that when TBC was going to be announced, they were like, I'm not going to do that. Like, I don't want to level. I didn't like leveling in classic. And now they are thinking of coming over. Um, I think that, that I think it just opens up the game for more players uh, to, to play. And that's what we want. We want a bigger community. Um, there is the argument that like it, you don't learn your class that way, but you, you have 12 levels to learn how to play your class um, it, with all your toolkit, right? And so if you can't really learn that, the other additional 58 levels might not help you that much. Uh, I, I've been, I've played this game for so long that I played it with great players and I played it with like people that can barely function on their character. So I've seen the gambit of it all. And I don't, I don't think that is gonna be that big of a deal because the players that wanna play and get better will get better. And the players that just don't care, just don't care. And eventually you're going to be able to weed them out and you can just say, I'm sorry, dude, we, we need someone that, you know, can actually follow a target. Um, so I think this, I think the boost is a good thing. Um, but I'm kind of selfish with that. And I, because I plan on boosting a druid, uh, for my far farming guy, um, but we can get into that later. Pre-nerf bosses. I think this is great. I think, um, I think the difficulty should be harder. Um, I, like I said, I've, I've been playing retail a lot recently. I've been in Castle Narthia and I, I really haven't done any heroics. I've just done normals, but compared to Nax, like there's just so many mechanics and so many things that could screw up and there's a lot of accountability. And I like that because you can really tell like who cares and who doesn't. Um, and I think, I think, I think this is a good thing. And if it just becomes too hard for, you know, whatever reason, like 
mechanic wise or just you know gear wise or, or whatever they can always nudge it back down but i think at first coming out with the pre-nerf bosses to give us a challenge is, is great i mean my guild went into nax i think we had like three weeks of progression and that's only because we were taking our time and it's been on farm ever since kt is the only kt and you know up until recently saf has been the only like iffy fights that that just but we, we blow through them and, and kt is just like um it's just a controlled wipe and that's 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 probably the most difficult boss in my eyes like saf was difficult for us but now you know once you just you chug your frost protection pots you win um this i think would be really good especially as a player that really hasn't experienced uh the end game content in tbc as much as uh, others have uh other than like karazan so uh, yeah. this one this one made me the happiest ever um i was talking to a few friends beforehand and i was like listen i know it's not going to happen but i really wish they give seal of blood to alliance it's just it just outperforms vengeance so much as a red that like it, it, you're doing yourself a disservice if you're going alliance and that kind of sucks i was gonna suck it up and and try my best as ret alliance without seal of blood you know but like this just this is just great i love it i just i'm so very happy about this um i, I for two days i was still i was like still waking up and like i can't believe they did this like this is amazing to me and i just i love it and i'm so excited to get my hands on it i just i just want to play the ret with seal of blood it's just it's going to be so great. I, I, I'm so excited for that. Um, arena updates, upgrades. I think this is good. Uh, doubling the amount of players on your team is a good thing. Um, when they first, when arenas first came out, if you had a twos team, it could only be two people. Three team, only three. Five, only five. Um, and you can only play with those people. So now that they're making it... Um, oops, um, they're making it double, so now you can have four people on your twos team, and anybody can play with that. Six on your threes, ten on your two fives. Um, I love that. I think that's a good change. I would actually, and this is going to be like blasphemy, I'd actually prefer them to do like the retail type, where I don't have a team. I just kind of queue and have my own MMR. Yes, that can lead to like the boot, the the current retail thing of everyone's boosting, but like. People are only boosting in retail because the PvP gear is just more, it's easier, quote unquote, to get. And it's more, um, compared to Mythic Pluses and Rated, you just can get, it's more guaranteed. Um, so I think that's going to change with the retail changes that they've introduced. Um, I, I know I'm cool with how they're doing the arena upgrades and they were there was talk of them saying that they would introduce the retail ones where they would get um you would just have your mmr uh and you could play with anyone which i i think that's a good thing because it just it lets it lets it you get a more broader right there is negatives to both right but like i think you get a more broader range of people interested in pvp and that's what you want um so I think what they did is good. I prefer the retail one, but I'm not ha I'm not upset that they didn't put the retail one in. I can live with this arena one, uh, especially because I want to get on some other teams that like might not want to ret paladin all the time, right? Like, <laughs> so um, looking for group. Uh, if this this isn't this is the LFG system, not the automated dungeon finder. The LFG system is fine in retail. It kind of sucks that you have to use it and you have to do all the legwork, but um, I won't be sad or happy if this does or does not come into TBC. I don't I don't really care about this. Um, I hope it, it doesn't because then that kind of puts more of a faceless um, this to people, but you're pugging pe things already in classic. It's, a lot of these people are already faceless to you because, you know, just going to play one or two dungeons with them or a raid or 20 man raider or an mc and you're just never going to see them again um i think that that aspect is there i think if this is not cross realm i think if it's only on the realm that that would be fine um leather working drums might change that's a good thing the entire raid ha having to have leather working drums not 
is not a good thing. Uh, they haven't announced what they're doing to change, um, but we'll see what they do. Uh, so far, I've been pretty happy with their their some changes that they've done. So you know, I I'm excited to see what this is going to be because uh, I don't want to go run around looking for drums. Um, no fresh classic. I think this is um, wrong because a lot of people want fresh. And if you want, I'm not one of them, but I think you should be able to play the game you want to play. Um, this, I don't know what this is about. Oh, this is just talking about like whatever. Um, cool. Th th and that's it. So, you know, like I said earlier, I really like the some changes that they've done already. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing at all. Um, I think... I think, I think what they're go doing is good. Um, I, I'm overall very happy with how they're doing it. Um, so, you know, I'm excited to play. I just want a release date. I want to get into the beta. I want to start playing around with that um, because otherwise I don't really have anything to do. Uh, other than that, other than the things I, I've, you know, I've determined I need to do, <laughs> uh, which is oxymoronic anyway. Anyway, so the, my, my current plans... Um, I still plan on raiding Nax as much as I can with my guild. Um, as a healer, uh, I am, we're very close to you know off spec stuff, certain things, not like kiss or whatever. But I want to get the phylacterity as as much as I can. Um, I want to. My guild has come out with a sign up sheet that is by no means like you know forever ever right, where you can sign up what your name and then like what characters you are playing on. Like, do you plan on switching to a main, different main, different spec? Uh, what are your alts you think in your alts going to be? So this is just like to just get a general idea of the, um, the guild in, uh, you know, makeup as in, in general. Um, so with that being said, I signed up. So as you can see, this is, uh, the overall idea that our guild is going to go. You know, parentheses is alts. Um, so I'm the only <laughs> only paladin that wants to go red. Uh, so, you know, we've got a ton of range DPS, a ton of healers, it looks like. A uh, bunch of tanks and, you know, melee DPS. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, uh, my plans going forward, since I am going to go red, I've been deep diving. Well, not deep diving. I've been looking into the, uh, the paladin discords and uh, looking what I need to do to prepare for TBC. Um, apparently I have to get blacksmithing max, so I'm kind of running around, um, what is it? Unguro, Winter Spring, Silithus, looking for Thorium. I'm almost done. I'm probably just gonna auction house the rest because the bots are just grabbing it all for arcane crystals. So uh, with that, I need to probably farm up some more herbs just in case because I need, I'm gonna drop herbalism on the Paladin. Uh, like I said earlier, I plan on boosting a druid to 58 and then trying to level up as far as I can stomach to level up uh, the druid just to be my um, a miner and herber. Um, so, uh, other than like leveling the uh, a druid up, which I don't plan on doing, I'm just really kind of getting blacksmithing ready. I still, I'm leading right now towards getting the Stormhammer mace. Um, let me see if I can pull it up. So this is the TBC mace uh, I'm thinking of doing. It's apparently bis for uh, ret paladins and PvP until phase until tier six. Um, it's not bis for PVE, which um, which is why I'm having the internal debate of what do I do? Do I do the swordsmith and have a PVE weapon, or do I do um, black the mace smith for the PvP weapon? Leaning towards more the PvP weapon because apparently the the Sims show that the PvP weapon why isn't top? It's kind of like it's within right. It's within a reasonable range for myself to to put that much effort into getting um and being able good for both. Uh, I saw there's a uh, another, there's an axe that's pretty good uh, that you can get in phase one. Apparently, um, it looks like. My knowledge of TBC is not that great. I'm just kind of scratching the surface. I'm one of those players that like will do the research, but like I kind of don't want to jump in and figure everything out until it's live. Um, but I'm super excited. 
other than the blacksmith thing and maybe getting some more herbs i'm not really doing much um, i've kind of really stopped playing retail altogether uh because it's just kind of boring at this point uh, i don't i don't feel like wasting or not wasting but devoting any more time to a game that i'm just going to pl stop playing in like three or four months um even though i had i did have a ton of fun um i just i'm frustrated because i don't have the community in retail like i do in classic so like i just want to I want to play classic. I want to play classic with my friends. I want to play classic with my guild, uh, with all my friends I made in my guild. Like, um, I'm just, I'm just super excited for TBC, and I wish it would come out. So, anyway, I think that's it. Uh, tell me in the comments what you guys are doing and preparing for uh, TBC. Um, are you going blacksmith like me? I'm hopefully playing Rhett, so um, I'm really excited about that. That I can finally play Rhett. That like. I'm useful in utility in a raid other than just like, you know, healing and, and bot, um, being a, a, a blessing bot. Um, so, you know, um, let me know in the comments um, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.